In this video, you're going to learn the seven crucial mindsets and attitudes that you must install or upgrade in order to prepare, adapt and overcome these challenging times that we're going to experience. Not only that, you will also know exactly what are the first steps that you need to take in order to integrate those mindsets and attitudes into your life. Now, this is a workshop video, which means that you're going to do some work. So you'll need a piece of paper and a pen and or preferably the printout of the PDF that the link is just here below under this video in the description. So if you need some time to get them, then pause the video, go get what you need and I'll see you on the other side. Ready? Let's go for it. It all starts with your mindset. This is the software that runs our hardware, our thoughts, our actions, our habits, and ultimately our results, everything that is expressed in the outer world. And as the world around us is, is changing so fast, it affects so many areas in our life. If it's our businesses, our jobs, our uh, personal relationships, our health, our, our finances, everything is changing. In this video, we want to make sure that you know what are the mindsets and attitudes that you need to install or upgrade in order to be able to prepare, adapt and overcome these challenges that are coming ahead. We're going to cover seven mindsets and attitudes. Some of them you might already possess to a certain degree. Some of them you may not. But what I want to make sure is that by the end of this video, you are very, very aware of what are those seven mindsets and attitudes, how to upgrade them and making sure that you know what are the levels that, uh, you know, are the most empowering, most supporting for you and go for it. Now, in order to be able to do this uh, exercise the best way possible or the most effective way, you need to pick up one area in your life, one area and do all the exercises in this area. So this area can be your business, your finances, your health, your relationships. It really doesn't matter what it is because you can always work on another area by just watching the video again and doing all the exercises for that new area. But for today, let's focus on one area. So I'm going to give you 20 seconds to just pick up one area that you want to work on. Maybe it's the one that you're feeling the most insecure, the most challenged right now with. Just take 20 seconds, pick up the area and we're going to continue from there. Ready? Let's begin. Mindset number one is that the only certainty is change. I'm sure that you've heard that before, but let's take a look at that for one second. If right now all the changes that are happening so fast in the world are getting you out of center, out of balance, you find yourself frustrated or uh, stressed out, then you know either this mindset is not fully wired or it's not there at all and we need to work on that. Albert Einstein said, that the definition of insanity is doing the same things expecting different results. But that's what many, many people are trying to do right now when the whole world is changing. They believe that if they will keep on doing the business the way that they did before, they're going to get the same amount of clients, the clients will pay the same amount and they will have the same income. Just as an example, this is not going to happen anymore and we need to get that into our mind. Your goal is to embrace change in any area of your life. Embrace change. Meaning, not only accepting that change is going to happen again and again and again, but also accepting the fact that you will need to change again and again and again. Now, this is the willingness to change. Many of us are saying, yes, yes, you know, I need to change. But are you willing to change? This is an important question. So, are you willing to change? This question has only two answers, either yes or a no. Maybe uh, it depends, let me sleep on it those will not install that new mindset in your system, okay? This is how you install this new mindset. Embrace change. Are you willing to embrace change in your life? Let me know in the comment box below your commitment. Thank you. Well done. Let's continue. I'm going to give you right now one minute to write down in your paper all the changes that might happen in this area that you want to focus on around you, in the world, coming from the outside. Okay, so take one minute to write down all the changes that might come, might come from the outside in this area that you're working on. One minute now.
now take one minute to write down what you might need to change either in the way that you do or the way that you think in order to prosper in this area that you chose to work on. One minute for that. Take a deep breath in and out and just read what you wrote in the last couple of questions. Just take a moment and read that and see while you're reading what's going on inside of you. See if there's any sensations in your body, if there is any emotion that is coming up, maybe thoughts that are crossing your mind. Don't judge them, don't try to change them, just take a look. And now take a moment and write down in your notebook what are those sensations, emotions or thoughts that came to you. Take a minute for that now. Wonderful. Well done. Let's move on to mindset number two. Success is always outside of your comfort zone. It's not a biggie. I'm sure that you heard that before. But let's see if you really get that. There is a big difference between I hate taking a cold shower, but if I have to, well, I'm going to breathe in, breathe out and do it and survive it. Two, I hate cold showers, but I'm going to take one every single day until I'm becoming very comfortable taking cold showers for the rest of my life. Do you understand the difference? The idea is that in order to install this in your mindset, this new mindset in your system, to install the fact that success is always outside of your comfort zone, that means that what you need to do is to become comfortable with the uncomfortable. And that's a whole new level. So let's take a look how we are actually implemented, uh, implementing it. So uh, in the pages that uh, you downloaded, turn around to the page where you see this circle in the middle of the page. And if you don't have it, just take your page and draw a circle in. All right. Now take one minute to write down in the circle all those things in, your, in the area that you want to work on that you feel comfortable with. Everything that you're confident of doing, that you love doing, that you know that you're good at, that you can do with your eyes closed or without thinking, that you can do, you know, many times automatic. It includes situations, circumstances, emotions, places anything that you're feeling comfortable with in the area that you chose to work with.
great. Now, take a minute and write down outside of the circle all those things in this area, in this area that you chose to work on, that you don't feel comfortable with. Anything that you're not good at, anything that you're not confident of doing, things that you hate doing in that area or afraid of doing, include emotions, situations, circumstances, places, anything that you rather avoid going into in that area. Great, thank you for that. Now take a look at all those things that you wrote outside of the circle, outside of your comfort zone, and pick up two or three things that you're willing to experiment with, that you're willing to explore, that you're willing to get comfortable with the uncomfortable of them. Okay, and that just write down for yourself, what are those two or three things that you're willing to explore? Take a moment for that now. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that. Now, take a deep breath in and out and just read what you wrote for yourself in the answers for the last few questions and just notice what is going on inside of you. Notice if there are any sensations in your body, any emotions that are coming up, maybe thoughts that are going through your mind and just write them down. Take one minute to write down what is going on inside of you. No need to change, no need to judge. There is no right or wrong. This is just what it is right now. Just observe and write them down. Well done. Let's move on. Take a look for a moment on this, on this opportunity that is on the screen. What is the first thing that you notice when you think about it? What is the first emotion that comes to you when you read the word? Do you experience uplifting, exciting and empowering thoughts and emotions? Or are you focusing on the missing R, 
in the world on your screen. You see, successful people always focus on the opportunities, while struggling people will always focus on the missing R, which means that successful people will focus on the rewards, on, the, on what they can get out of it, while the struggling people will focus on the risks, on what they might lose. The biggest opportunities in life always, always will have a missing R. Otherwise, it's not an opportunity, it's just how things are. Okay? An opportunity will always have a missing R. It's never a perfect situation. There's always some risk. There's always something that is not perfect. There's always something that you might not like. There's always something that can go wrong. That's what an opportunity means. But what you need to remember and what this mindset is all about is that opportunities are everywhere. And in times of chaos and challenging and things that are changing very, very fast, there is even more opportunities and bigger opportunities than when, you know, everything is calm and relaxed and business as usual. So that's a great, great, great time to be in when you have that mind mindset installed, okay? That opportunities are everywhere. This is how you install this mindset, by focusing on what you want instead of on what you don't want. So take one minute right now and write down on your paper what are all the opportunities that the world or the new situation might present itself in the area that you chose. Okay, something that comes from the outside, opportunities that might come from the outside. Maybe you already see them, maybe you're ex uh, um, expecting them, maybe they just something that you imagine. But just write down for one minute all the opportunities that are there or might come from the outside in the area that you chose to work on. Take a minute for that. Now take one minute to choose one, one opportunity that you can either grab or create. It can be in the list that you wrote or something that you decide to bring from yourself. But one opportunity that you can grab or create, write it down on the paper and all the good things that can happen from that. So I want you to focus only on the good thing, only on what you want if this opportunity is coming. Don't focus on what you don't want, only on what you want. You have one minute starting now. So take a deep breath in and out and just notice when you read back those, the answers to those two questions that I asked you, just notice what is happening inside of you. Is there any sensation that is coming up in your body? Maybe an emotion that is passing by? Maybe a thought or thoughts that are going through your mind? Don't try to change them. Just let them be. Just notice and write them down. Take a minute and write down everything that is going on inside of you right now.
Wonderful. We're getting there. So let's go to mindset number four. Success is a series of failures. Hmm? But think about it. Every success is never a straight line from the goal that you set until the moment that this goal was manifested and created in reality. It's al there's always mistakes, there are always setbacks, there are always some failures in the way. The only difference between winners and, and losers is that winners take every single mistake, setback and failure as an opportunity to either learn a lesson or to reaffirm or refocus on what is their goal, what is their vision, or to, straight to feel that they're straightening their muscles, they're, you know, they're pumping up their, their strength while the losers, they're using every single mistake, setback or failure as a reason to basically quit. Okay? I can't do that. Okay? So now you need to choose. Are you a winner or are you a loser? The only way for you to prepare, adapt and overcome the coming challenging times is if you install that mindset and really get it all the way. Success is a series of failures which means that the best tool to actually install that is something that I'm doing for years, I'm teaching for years, and people always laugh. They don't really get the message. So please, please listen and get it, okay? Get it. The tool to install the, this mindset that success is a series of failure is to make as many mistakes as fast as possible. I'll repeat, make as many mistakes as fast as possible. This way you learn faster, you re keep reaffirming your focus, and sometimes you change it because you realize, hmm, maybe that goal was not perfect, so I can change it a little bit. So that gives you a chance to change course pretty quickly, and it keeps on training your muscles. This is crucial, and when you install that, you're also getting used to making mistakes. You're used to things don't going the way you expected them, and you start feeling comfortable with them, which goes back to the mindset that we had before with, the, with stepping out of your comfort zone. All right? So let's practice. Take a minute right now and write down on your page all the places that you can remember that you made mistakes or got setbacks or experienced failures in this area that you're working on. Okay, as many as you can in that minute. If you need more time, you can always pause the video and continue then. Wonderful. Now take one minute, or if you need more, take more, but take one minute to write down for each one of those uh, mistakes, setbacks, or failures that you experienced in this area, one lesson, at least one lesson that you learned that actually keep on serving you probably for the rest of your life, or at least for a period. Okay, so for each one of those setbacks or mistakes or failures, come up with at least one lesson that you learned from that that supported you in your life. Take a minute for that right now. Let's take a deep breath in and out and just look inside for a moment. When you read all those mistakes, setbacks and failures that you experienced and all the lessons that you got from them, 
Just notice what is going on inside. Are there any sensations in your body? Any emotions that are coming up? Maybe thoughts that cross your mind? Just notice them. No need to judge. No need to change. Everything is fine. You just want to be an observer. And then write them down. Just take a moment to write down everything that's going on that is going on inside of you. Are we ready for number five? Mindset number five. Life is a journey. Ta -da! What does it mean? It means that we have somewhere to go. We have a destination. But if you're not enjoying the process, if you're not enjoying the walking the path, then what's the point? Right? This is an important mindset today because everything is changing and a lot of it we judge as bad or it's not what I like, it's not the way I want it. But this, if we realize that life is a journey, then this is just part of journey, it's just a part of your path. And you know, right now, maybe you feel that you're in the mud. So what? Enjoy the mud, Ex enjoy the experience. Remember where you're going to, but take every time one step. And this is actually the tool that I'm using and I'm recommending you to use in order to install that mindset. When you want to install this life is a journey, which brings, a lot of acceptance but also a lot of action but the right type of action into it for me the best way to install that mindset is to focus on the destination to know where i'm going focus on the destination but take one step at a time no one knows what's happening what's going to happen in five years a year six months or maybe even next week everything changes so fast okay but if you keep your eyes on where is it that you want to go or to get to at the end and you take one step at a time this is something you can Control, in a way. You, can, you know what you can do one step. You don't know what is the second or third, maybe that's okay. Take one step, see what's happening there, and then take the next step. So taking one step at a time. Make sense? Let's practice. So what I want to do now is I want to give you a minute to right now think of one big goal, five-year goal, so that's a, a kind of a long-term goal, in this area that you're working on in this exercise, okay? In this area, you want to pick up one five-year five goal and write it down with as many details as possible. So you want to describe how it looks when it's complete, not in the process for it, but five years from now, how does it look when it's complete in your life? Everything that you can uh, think of or imagine, please write it down, this is important. I'm gonna give you one minute for that. Right? Exciting? Hopefully. If it's not exciting, you better do this exercise again. This five-year goal should be very exciting for you. Okay? Now what I want you to do is to take one minute and write down what is the next step that you're committing yourself to do in the next seven days in order to get closer to that five-year goal. Okay? It's 
exactly what we're talking about. You know what the destination is, it's five years from now, you don't know all the steps in there, but you can choose to commit to one step that you're going to do in the next seven days. Write it down now and I'll see you on the other side. Wonderful. Let's take a deep breath in and out. And read again the goal, the five-year goal that you just wrote for yourself, hopefully exciting, and the one step that you committed in order to do in the next seven days in order to get closer to that. And just notice what's going on inside of you while you're reading it. Are there any sensations in your body that you can feel? Any emotion that is coming in, coming up? Any thoughts that are going through your mind? No need to change, just accept them, just observe. And take a moment and write them down on the paper. What's going on inside? All right, number six. Number six, being is as important as doing, okay? If you will look at all the five uh, mindsets that we were talking about until now, they all have to do something with taking action, with doing, with implementing. They're all about going out there. And that's okay, we need that. We cannot prepare, adapt, and overcome the challenging situation in front of us if we don't do those. But we, re we need to remember that at the end we are human beings and not human doings. And there is this part of being that we need to put in our mindset and in our daily actions. And most of us, especially when we're a little bit panicky or in a crisis situation, we just forget about it. But we need to take this, this time to reflect and process and what, what is going on. So this is what I'm doing in order to install this mindset. The mindset is being is as important as doing, but the tool that I'm using for that is simply taking breaks to reflect, taking regular breaks to reflect, to just be. This is how I do that. I take at least an hour every single day just to reflect, just to be. It's not an hour to read or to surf the web or to watch televisions or to, I, I, it's not even about inspiring movies or reading an, an, a, a motivational uh, book. No, it's about just being quiet with myself, reflecting on my life, on what is going on. So I'm taking one hour a day, I'm taking usually half an hour, half a day, sorry, half a day every week. Uh, every month I will try to take a day, uh, sometimes even two days over, the, uh, over that month that I can take just for that. And for sure two or three times uh, a year I will take one week, which I call a vision week, which I'm taking, I'm isolating myself from everything, I'm isolating myself from people, I'm isolating myself from communications, from, uh, from uh, internet of course and everything, and I'm just focusing on being and reflecting. This is not a topic that I can discuss in this, uh, in this video, it's too short uh, time for that, but this is a very, very powerful method. But the idea is that I'm taking, I'm forcing myself to take those regular breaks to reflect. So, now it's your turn. So take one minute right now, 
to write down what do you commit, what schedule for reflection do you commit to. And it can be something similar to what I'm doing or something totally different. It doesn't matter as long as you're willing to commit to it and as long as you're saying I'm not just committing to it but I'm actually able and willing to stand for it. Because if you're committing to something that you know that you either can't or you want to do that, then there's no point for that. You actually you know, create for yourself a double punishment at one point. What you want to choose is to commit to a schedule that you're willing and capable to commit to. I'm going to give you a minute for that right now. Great, and now I'm going to ask you to take a minute and write down what are you actually going to do in those times. So if you're taking, for example, like me, one hour a day, what are you going to do? How is your reflection time or being time is going to be? Are you going to close yourself in a room, meditate for yourself? Are you going to go for a walk in nature? Are you going to journal? It doesn't matter how, but you need to choose for that. It's again a commitment. Now we'll, you will know your schedule and you will know how you're going to use that or how you're going to use the time in that schedule. So take a minute for that. Wonderful. Take a deep breath in and out. <laughs> We're almost there. And just notice when you're reading uh, the answers for your schedule and what are you going to do in those times, just time for being, just notice what's going on inside of you. Any sensations in your body, any emotions that are coming up, maybe thoughts, no need to judge. No need to try to change them, just let them be. And then take a moment and write them down. All right, let's move on to mindset number seven. Gratitude is your secret weapon. I'm sure that you heard a lot about gratitude and gratefulness and you know you might have even doing it sometimes but the point is that we want it as a mindset. We want, uh, especially now that things are going 
for many people, they feel that things are going wrong. They don't go the way they want it. Then they start getting upset and stressed and uh, frustrated and angry. But if you have this mindset of great, uh, gratitude is your secret weapon, then you, you learn to be grateful for everything that is happening in your life. Because everything is there for you. It's there for a reason. It is there. When you learn to be grateful for that, the suffering disappears and you're just able to, if not enjoy it, at least to accept it and ride the waves. So how do you install this mindset? Well, there is an old and biblical term that I must say that this is, works for me for many, many, many years. Simply count your blessings every day. And there are many ways to do that. The way that uh, Verd and I are doing it, we uh, often have, uh, or we do have a, a gratefulness notebook that we often write in it at the end of the day. All the things we are grateful that happened during the day. For sure, every single evening where we're doing our clearing process uh, with each other, we tell each other what are we grateful for that happened to us today. It's part of the process. It's not all of it, but it's part of it. And uh, I tend to, uh, many times, uh, especially in periods that I feel that I'm kind of forgetting that, I will carry a small stone uh, in my pocket, and that's what I call the gratefulness stone. And every time that I put my hands in my pocket and I feel that, I send that, it reminds me, hey, I should be grateful. And then I'm just thinking, what am I grateful for right now? If it's the weather, if it's the fact that I have beautiful, uh, warm, loving relationships, if it's that I, you know, I feel that I'm contributing, if it's whatever it is. And I'm just saying it many times aloud. Okay, I'm just saying it aloud for myself. Hey, I'm grateful for. Those are just ways, but you, p you, keep, you pick your own choices how to express or count your blessings every single day. So let's practice that. So for now, take one minute and write down for yourself everything that you're grateful for in the area that you're working on in your, in your paper. Just write it down, take one minute for that. And now take one minute to write down the names of all the people in your life that you're grateful for right now. Can be people that are alive or dead, people that are close to you or far away, but all the people that you're grateful for their contribution to your life right now in your, in your paper. Now take a deep breath in and out and just read all those things that you're grateful for in both lists and notice what's going on inside of you. Notice if there's any sensation in your body, any emotion that is coming up, any thoughts that are crossing your mind. No need to change, no need to judge, just observe. And then take a moment and write down whatever you experience inside of you.
Well done so far. Here is a very, very important part of this exercise. Take one minute right now and write down in the comment box below which one of those seven mindsets is the one that for you is the crucial, most important right now to work or either installing it in your mind or upgrading it. Write down what is the mindset that is most important for you and what is the thing or things that you can do this week that you're committing to do this week in order to start installing that mindset. Okay, so I want you to write that down in the comment box below. This is very, very important for your commitment, but it's important for me because that helps me to build up the program better for you. Okay, so write down in the comment box below what is the mindset that is most important for you to work on and what is the one, two or three steps that you're actually going to do in the next week in order to start the process. Okay, let me know and I'll, we'll continue in a minute. Wow, you did it. You are a superhero. You should acknowledge yourself this way or another. It's an amazing accomplishment what you did just right now. I hope you understand that without those mindsets installed in your, in your system, you will not be able to prepare, adapt and overcome in the right way. So you did an amazing work, even if it took the time and the effort and maybe your bri brain is fried right now. Acknowledge yourself for that. Find yourself a way to celebrate. And uh, yeah, until we meet again in the next video, live fully, stay awesome. From Nissan.